Hey you guys, I'm Brian Paul, and it's time for some more PlayStation VR breaking news. First up, Konami just debuted a new trailer and announced a release date for Zone of the Enders, the second runner, Mars. For those who didn't know, this is an HD update of the PlayStation 2 Classic, now fully playable in PlayStation VR. It'll be here September 6th, featuring a first-person cockpit mode, switchable perspectives, and some bonus VR-specific features. It's great to see that Konami's still making video games, and not just pachinko machines. Hopefully this won't be the last PlayStation VR game they make. Next up, you might have noticed already that Preda Vendetta Rising found a nice spot on our top 20 PlayStation VR games of all time. And if for some reason you still haven't bought it, well, we have two keys to give away, courtesy of developer Ilion. So how do you win? Well, follow us on Twitter at Parole Games, then tweet at us telling us which region you're in, European or North American, and we'll announce the winners on Monday. Shout out to loyal GameCat Ghost0885 for passing these keys along. Next up, it wouldn't be a great breaking news report without the announcement of a new PlayStation VR game. And today, we have two. The first one's called Be the Hero, and it's about to enter early access on Steam. A lot of people are describing this as Megaton Rainfall meets Sprint Vector, and from the trailer behind me, you can see why. You can scale walls, leap across rooftops, fight enemies, all using some fast, fluid locomotion. For the early access version, the developers are promising about an hour's worth of gameplay with some epic boss battles, and more missions to be added as development progresses. Now, there's no PlayStation VR release date yet, but this footage looks extremely early, so we'll be keeping a close eye on it to see how it evolves over time. And then finally, a game that has my name written all over it, Paper Dolls. This one's coming to Steam in just 10 days, but then to PlayStation VR sometime later this year. It's being billed as a 15-hour puzzle-solving adventure, and none of the screenshots, bullet points, or trailers that I've seen make any mention of weapons. So it seems like you're truly defenseless in this game, probably resulting in a ton of running and hiding. And even if you're not into horror, you might find something to like here. The developers are stating, our design philosophy is not to scare you, but to make you feel the eerie atmosphere. Either way, sign me up. I'll happily spend 15 hours in this house. All right, you guys, that's all the breaking news I have for you today. But make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date with all the latest PlayStation VR reviews, Let's Plays, podcasts, and of course, breaking news. As always, I'm Brian Paul, and I love you all.